G'day guys, Shane here at MCC. Today we're gonna to be showing you how to fit our Phoenix Bar to a Hilux. So that's the details there. So it is a Toyota Hilux Revo 16 to 20 or a Hilux Rocco 18. So we've got the car here, we've got all the stuff, we've got everything unwrapped. Um, we're gonna take you through everything from start to finish, how we can go about it. So once you've got everything laid out, um, pretty much you can see here we've got the bar, we've got the bash plates, to be able to prep the bull bar itself, you're going to attach the eyebrows, all right? So you're gonna sit them in place. You can either tighten them up or just have them just, just snug. So you can adjust them later on to be able to align them. You wanna make sure you've got all your um, cage nuts securely placed on the bash plates, um, and the side wing plates and also the front center. All the fitting hardware we've got laid out here. All right, we've laid out all our bolts. We've checked through our manual to see where all the bolts go. Um, this is all easily accessible on a nice trolley, so we can roll it straight up to the front of the car. So now we're going to start pulling the car apart. All right, so firstly, since we've got the car at this level, we're luckily enough to have a hoist. These Toyota clips, these specific ones, they push down. There's no need to pry them out. Disconnect the electrical plug, as you can see here press that in and pop it out. What we're gonna do is pull the, just the top half off, as you can see here. These ones you can't get to the clips, so we're gonna leave them connected, and we're gonna pull it off later once we have the bar off. So there's a few hidden bolts just in here. You mainly pull it off halfway to get access to these. You can actually drill these just a little bit, just to make them easier to pop off. So here I'm gonna show you how to pull the grill off the bumper. Basically, there's a few tabs that are a bit of a pain to get to with it on the car. All you're going to do is pry them out and push down on the grill. So now we're gonna remove the, uh, the front boss intrusion bar. Now we're going to show you how we cut the air dams. Basically, you want to cut as minimal off as possible, just enough to be able to clear the front winch cradle. Um, we usually cut straight through here. It will vary from car to car where the cut is. We usually cut straight through there. All right, the next stage, just to get a bit better access to the chassis and the areas, we're actually going to cut this little part off here. All right, we're going to do the final cut on an inner wheel arch guards. Um, because the adjustment of the bar varies from car to car and the heights of the bar will change minutely. Um, so that adjustment of that will base where the cut is. Before you put the bridge cradle on and everything like that, you can choose whether you want to or don't want to paint behind the bar. Um, we recommend it. It basically shadows out behind the bar so that it gives it a nice solid effect. It also gives it a nice defined line as well. Next, we're gonna fit the winch cradle. Um, read through the instructions. There's an exploded diagram on there of where the bolts go. You will, you will find that most of the chassis bolts that go directly into the chassis are a 1.25 um, pitch thread. Now we're gonna do the grill cut. The grill cut pretty much starts in the middle of this contour round edge here, right in the middle. It'll come completely flat across to here. From this grill here, the underneath surface, you wanna measure 10 mil up. 10 mil, 10 mil, 10 mil. We're going to mount the center bracket for the front um, grill. Okay, so we're up to the point of doing the electrical. 
So we always do recommend to get a qualified water electrician to wire it up for you. It just makes it a lot safer. Um, however, if you do feel comfortable doing it at home, we do recommend to look through, through our wiring diagrams. It shows you in detail how to do that. Yep. A little tip, if you're doing the electrical at home, it's much easier to get access to all the cables if you pull the headlight out. As you can see here, we've actually left out one of the bolts for the headlight purely to undo the rest of them. We can pull the headlight out. Be careful of obviously the wet paint. Um, you get access to the cables. You can do your tap-in points and then you can put the headlights back in. Make sure you secure it and re-secure this bolt here as well. Um, it just makes the whole job a lot easier. You do need a wiring when you have access. A little tip, a little tip for you. So we have these 12 mil spat packer spaces here. Um, it's actually just a bit of 12 mil ply. We cut them into little rectangles like this. So when you're fitting the bar up, you can actually come around here, I'll show you. So when you sit the bar in place, you've got to have a gap. You have to have at least 10 mil gap. We usually sit this in here and we sit the bar directly up to it. What that does is it keeps the bar parallel with this panel here. And yeah, you want a minimum of 10 mil. Any closer than that, the vibration from the bar will hit the quarter panel. So no, no less than 10 mil. Alrighty guys, so now we're looking at the gap. We're just checking over the bar. You wanna make sure there's a gap underneath the, the headlight, which is even all the way across. Gaps are parallel. If you look here, they are parallel with each other. A nice even gap you can get your finger into. Um, and also the contour of the wheel arch. This goes directly down. We will cut this so it flips behind the bar. Um, but at the moment, that's a nice contour. Our MCC bull bars, we have pre-drilled holes for steady driving lights. They come standard across all of our bars. It's already pre-drilled. You don't need to drill your own. So there's no worrying about, you know, drilling holes through the bar, compromising the powder coat. Alrighty guys, so now we're up to the stage of mounting the grill. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually put this in through the top. Be careful not to scratch the bar. Make sure that you don't scratch any of the headlights. All right, so now we've put the screws back in for the front grill. You want to make sure that you plug the front radar back in. Make sure you hear an audible click. Our MCC bar is perfectly sized for this front radar module. Basically, the top deck of the bar comes just underneath the badge, so it doesn't obstruct the view. Also, with the, with the front radar, you also got to make sure that you only run driving lights. If you run a light bar, it will obstruct the view of the, uh, the front radar. Also, the height of this doesn't obstruct anything, so it has full access to be able to view directly straight forward. So what we like to do is we like to put pinning bolts in. Basically what that does is it, when you drill a 10 mil hole and put a 10 mil bolt through it, it's impossible for those two plates to be able to move side to side or up and down. It's pinned in place. Now we've uh, put the bolts in for the pinning bolts to be able to lock it in place so it can't move. All right, so once you've got the fog lights leveled, all the electrical's done, bar's pinned in place, we're up to doing the um, guard cut. So what we're gonna do first is we're going to just have a look here. Basically, at the moment, it's sitting behind there. It should be on the other side. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our finger, just mark it, you can use a pen. So then we can put the bash plate on and then see where the bash plate sits. Where the bash plate will sit, all right? All we do is mark it and then cut it. You know, so sometimes you need to put the outer bash plates on first. You'll see this lip here that sits behind the middle bash plate. So this is easier to put on first. What we're doing here is we're using our arm to hold that back. We're going to sit this in place, line it up to the hole down here, which mounts to the cradles. So make sure the bash plate is sitting flat on the inside. Make sure that's sitting up where the hole is lined up. We're going to try and see where this wants to sit, which is about there. We're going to mark the outside. So what we can do is there's actually a hole just behind there. Move that back, have a look. 
line it up for the 90 degree drilling there. Now clip just in here. The inner guard attached to the bash plate. You've done your cut, but it's a bit rough. So what you want to do is use a Stanley knife. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'm sure if you'll see one of our products in person, we'll be beyond your expectation. Thanks.